Uh, I'd like to go over some of the uh, issues involved in the um, in the uh, shortest path problem, and uh, maybe talk about how uh, how you might code this up. So the basic idea here is that we're going to do something very similar to the robot path, namely going to work column by column from left to the right, um, filling in the boxes. Uh, but this time, instead of filling out how many paths there are to a given box, what we're going to do is we're going to trace uh, all possible, uh, the, the shortest way to get into each one of uh, these boxes, the shortest meaning the, uh, the path with the minimum weight, and when we finally get to the last column, we're going to end up uh, with one of those is going to be the minimum value, and that's going to be the way to get out, and that's going to be the total minimum path. Now, um, how do we do this? So, basically we saw that uh, we're going to be moving in here from left to right, so our robot has to come in somehow in this direction, and we don't care which box he goes through, and it's going to come out in this direction. So, what we're going to do is, on the uh, matrix on the right, uh, let's call it A, this guy here on the right will be the array A, uh, so um, we're going to be putting into every one of these cells the uh, cost of the minimum path, if the, minim the minimum cost to get through that particular cell. So, since on the left-hand column we can only come in from the left-hand side, there is no other way to get in, so we saw that we just simply copy the values from the matrix on the left into the matrix on the right. The matrix on the left is the cost to get through each one of the cells, uh, not the paths, but the, the actual difficulty of getting through that particular cell. So we have here a 3, and we have a 6, and a 5, and an 8, and a 3. Uh, now, we also saw that in order to get into any cell, if I now look at the second column, how do I get into a cell uh, on column 2? And this is going to be the case for all cells to the right. I can come in either from the right-hand side, I can come in from uh, the up diagonal, or I can come in from the down side. Now, if, um, basically, let's call this cell here uh, A, if the array is called A, and let's say we're in the ij uh, element. So this is A sub i uh, j. Now, what does this mean, it's A sub i j? Well, the i means we're in column i, and the j, it, we're in row i, right? This, uh, this, uh, the first one is the row value, and uh, the j is the column, right? So from column, this is the, we're in column j. So now, uh, if we look, let's say, for example, we're looking at this, uh, this particular one right over here. Let's say the one we want is, uh, is say, this one. Right, this one right over here, this green one here. So where is this? This is, uh, this is row 0, 1, 2. So this is, uh, i here is going to be 2. Uh, that's the row value. And j is going to be 0, 1. So this is 2, 1. Right? This, this one right over here is 2, 1. How could I get in from 2, 1? I can get in from the left. I can get in from the uh, upper uh, left. And I can get in from the lower left. So what we see is, um, if I'm in column, if I'm in column uh, uh, J, I can get in from column J minus one. I'm always going to be coming in from column J minus one, right? I'm always going to be coming in from that column. But um, but which rows can I come in from? Well, if I come in uh, directly from the left, that's going to be the same row. So that's going to be row I. Uh, if I come in uh, from uh, the bottom. So that's going to be one, you know, from where the 8 is over here, this direction. So that's going to be one row below me. So that's going to be uh, row I plus 1. So uh, if I go down one uh, row, uh, so down one row is going to be I plus 1. And if I go, this over here is an I. And if I go up one, uh, one row, so I'm going to still be in column J, but I'm going to be in row I minus 1. All right, and what I need to do is look at these three positions, right? I, gotta go, I have to move one, uh, one column to the left, that's the J minus 1, and take a look at these three um, rows and pick the minimum of those values. And I have to do this for every one of the, um, of the cells as I move column by column from left to right, starting in column 1, right? starting in the second column over here. Now, um, basically the idea, the, the, the real clincher is uh, what to do on the top and the bottom, right? Because it, for the middle ones, right, the ones um, over here, for example, right, when I, when I look at these, so these all uh, will give me appropriate values, right? So 
Uh, for example, if, uh, if, if I'm in this one right over here, so uh, the, this value, uh, row, the column here is 1. Uh, when I move back here, I'm going to be column 0. That's okay. And then j minus 1 takes me up this direction. I mean, i minus 1 takes me this direction. Um, i takes me in this direction. We're talking about the, the row values. And i plus 1 takes me in that direction. And the same thing is going to be true uh, for this one, this one, and this one. I'm going to be in the appropriate places. The interesting situation is what happens uh, in the bottom ones, right? Because in the bottom ones, this one over here and this one over here, the j minus 1, that's okay. That's going to take me uh, one column to the left, right? But if I look up, that's okay, right? i minus 1 is going to be that row. i is going to be this, uh, I mean, that, col uh, that row. i is going to be uh, this row. But what about i plus 1? If, for example, I'm in uh, row 4, so i plus 1, if i is 4, i plus 1 is going to be 5, but there is no 5, right? So the real trick here is that instead of saying i plus 1 and i minus 1, what we're really going to be saying is the following. We're going to be saying to go down i uh, plus 1, uh, but we're going to say mod 5. And instead of saying i minus 1, we're going to be saying i minus 1, also mod 5. Now the question of what, what does that buy us, well, very simply, because let's say, for example, that i is 4, right? Let's say I'm on the bottom, I'm on the bottom uh, row, right? So if I'm on the bottom row, right, this row over here, so when I say uh, 4 plus 1, 4 plus 1 is going to be 5, but we saw there is no row 5, but if I take that as mod 5, that's going to take me uh, to, the, to the one over here. And that's exactly what I want, right? Because uh, to get in here in this direction, since we're dealing with this as a cylinder, if you read uh, what it says in the, pro in the, in the problem description, um, I need to come from up here. Uh, that's going to take me to the right place. Likewise, uh, this one up here. So if I look, if I, if I simply take um, where I can come in here, if I come in from uh, co one column before, that's okay. But if I go from the row uh, down, well, I'm, this is row zero, right? So i plus one, that's going to be row one, that's okay. i, that's going to be zero, that's okay. But if I say i minus one, that's going to take me f to, to row minus one. There is no row i minus one, obviously. But if I look at i minus one mod five, that's going to take me to the bottom, which is a 4. So it, this gives me exactly what I want. So basically, that's the idea. We're going to go column by column, and we're going to create three values. For every time we find ourselves in some particular cell, in this cell over here, we're going to say, OK, to find the value I put here, I'm going to check the appropriate value from the, pre, from the matrix on the left-hand side. And to it, I'm going to add the minimum of this one, this one, and this one. And so the way we do it is if this is an ij, I want to go one column back, which is going to be j minus one, and I want to go i and I want to go i minus one mod five, and that just i, and then i plus one mod five, and we fill them in. So we go column by column by column by column, and then we take the f column at the very very end. This column over here, we take all those uh, five values in those columns. We pick the minimum one, and that's going to be the shortest path. That's basically the idea.